I have no idea if this is working correctly, actually, because I don't usually stop streams and then restart them. But I'm going to assume that it's okay. And I'm just going to pick up where I left off. Uh, I'm in the Demiurge's own personal whipping boy. All right, that's a clang. That's clangs, baby. We're cooking with petrol now. All right. All right, okay. Anyone watching the archive of this? You did not see a video that consisted of a great deal of technical issues fixing, which occupied what should have been the first, like, 15 minutes of this stream or so. Anyway, all right. Okay, I'm salty. I'm gonna smash this guy's bathroom, because fuck it. He doesn't need to look in the mirror anyway. He lives in a warehouse. Is that? Oh, that's just like a beverage. I'm salty. I'm throwing things. I've had enough. I just realized I can set the whole place on fire. Hi, Alice. I'm salty because I had technical issues. And now I'm burning this man's house down. This is a good way to solve your problems in real life also. Oh, whoops, Rube. You're not supposed to replicate this in real life. Unwise behavior. Oh, hey, I have a torch. <laughs> Never realized that before. You know what? Anger leads to innovation. I've discovered torch. I think we all decide to burn our house down as a solution from time to time. It's only natural. Hell yeah. Ooh, that was enough that it broke the cast iron. That's uncommon. Let me just close that behind me. Alright. The advantage of um, solving your problems by burning your house down when you live in a flat is that you also solve everybody else's problems at the same time so they can thank you for it. Alright, well there's no way for me to escape this fire so I'm going to teleport. You don't know me but I've had a series of break-ins recently and the last one I lost two very rare classic cars and guess what, I know who did it. The fire closes in. Gordon Wu, that absolute- oh shit, did I die? <laughs> I got teleported away from it because I was in danger. I think I died of fire. <laughs> A side hustler to the last. He died as he lived, checking his email while his house burned down. A true hero of the uh, entrepreneurial scene. Whoa, how'd fire get over here? Oh. <laughs> it's probably good that I don't have access to fissile material in real life. I don't mean fissile. What's the word that means flammable? I guess this is building is primarily brick and concrete, so there's not that much to burn. Alright, back to email. Except no, I don't have lumbar support. Uh, right, what am I doing? Um, yeah, this some some guy's been stealing his shit, and he knows that it was Gordon Wu, the absolute prick, who's now bragging to everyone at the club about his two favourite possessions. The break-ins have caused me a lot of property damage, and I'd like to let Gordon taste some of his own medicine. Since we're in the demolition industry, I thought, I don't know, if you do this sort of work, but you could let me know if it sounds interesting. So, for Gordon Wu, we've done a bunch of missions fucking up Lawrence Lee Jr. Uh, we've stolen some of his shit from the marina, and we have also broken into his factory and stolen a bunch of shit there also. Um, in fact, one of those break-ins was on behalf of the police, who are <laughs> oddly realistic in their approach to uh, the legal acquisition of evidence. But, mission, the car wash, yeah. So we're now playing both sides, which is the way that you make sure you always win. Um, because we've been hired by the guy we were hired to fuck up to cause problems. 
I've just realised I could have been buying shit this whole time. You can upgrade things. Can't upgrade my sledgehammer or my spray can or my fire extinguisher. I can upgrade my blowtorch and my shotty. In fact, I can probably afford to fully upgrade most of these things. You're not really short for money in this game. If you uh, obsessively search for the hidden treasure in each area, you can pretty much upgrade everything you find. Or, I guess, buy. I'll read the other email when we get back. For now, we're going to check out a new level that we haven't seen before, except when I streamed the first half of this game previously, uh, like a year ago. So this is the first of the missions at Lee's Mansion, which is uh, an enormous uh, modernist shithole. Um, to be honest, I actually really like the visuals of um, modernist like mansions and, and uh, houses and stuff, you know. Um, but I think that they represent a fundamental flaw uh, in the views of a lot of modern architects, including, frustratingly, my father, uh, where it is held that the aesthetics are more important than the function. I think that uh, the art of any kind of functional object is that it must be beautiful and also functional. It must operate to serve the purpose that it is. Nobody who designs buildings like this ever think about how you fucking hoover it. Nobody ever thinks how it's going to look in 15 years once it's got water stains all down the sides. It is designed solely to look good when it is first made. Um, and past that point, none of the rest of it matters. Uh, which I think is a fundamental flaw and serious problem. Uh, which I have actually talked about at length on other streams at some point. Anyway, uh, let's take this seriously. This is not a simple smash and grab operation. I am a consummate professional. Ooh. Some ducks. <laughs> Some dipshit left his wallet. Nice, okay. Is there anything valuable in here? Doesn't look like it. Well, I mean, I suppose apart from that guy's wallet. That's not even- that's not even sticking it to Lee, cuz... That's just some security guy's wallet, which is a shame, really. He should be smarter about where he leaves his shit. All right, let's take a look. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six cars to steal. I believe there are two car stealing missions. This is the first and easier one. Several of these can be dealt with fairly easily. Oh wait, no, I need to dump them in the water. Okay, that's very different. The thefts is the next one. Wooks rip, how does one get the computer to end up underwater? Um, what was I doing? Alright, yeah, so. This one's on a flatbed, which means we can move it around. There's one in a garage here, which means we can drive it off the edge here. Um, what else we got? There's one here that you can just drive straight into the hot tub, which I felt like a genius when I realised I could do that. There's a couple here. Several of these are not alarmed. Well, some of them aren't alarmed, I think. Which means... You do have a memory of me doing this exact level in a little stream. Uh, because this is one of the levels I streamed previously before I stopped playing this game for some reason. Why? I don't know. I just did. Okay, so that one's wired. That's that one. Can I mark on here? Can I draw? I don't think I can. So the one on the flatbed might be the easiest to relocate. In fact, I can probably throw that one directly into the water without much trouble. Is this a target? That is a target. And it does not have an alarm. Okay, promising. So if I can get that into the back of a... of a dump truck, I can dump it in the water straight away. Brutalism at least holds up, because brutalism actually does function. The, the buildings are meant to survive getting wet. They honestly look better with a bunch of moss on them. 
The unfortunate downside of one of these is that they're not built to deal with rain or weather and also they end up looking really nasty quite quickly. I like both Nouveau and Deco. I mean, my, my preference, really, architecturally, is a mixture of things. One of one of the things I enjoyed about living in London was that I could... Oh, that's the wrong door. Was that you could go for a walk and just see about 400 years worth of uh, different buildings if you walked the right route. All jam-packed up next to each other. Anyway, step one to any project like this is to reduce any uh, unnecessary things that you can. So if I can... Am I strong enough to move that? No, but I can drive it. What the fuck? There's got to be a way I can move this. Uh, I cannot. That's irritating. How are you supposed to get it off the damn lift? How did I do it previously? Maybe there's a maybe there's a crane I can use somewhere. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I don't know if the lift is destructible, but it probably is with the blowtorch. Blowtorch tends to win. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Oh boy, that's not quite what I was hoping for. The problem with the lift rises is that they sink down slowly by themselves. You know, actually, if I cut the back half off of this, it will still count as a single vehicle. Or maybe not. not quite work I think the axle might be unbreakable actually the axles might be one of the few unbreakable things all right that's not gonna work can I get it to stay on top enough looks like it nope total failure Alright. Decent plan, poorly executed. But you know what? It's light enough for me to move it now. They didn't say anything about the condition in which I had to dump these cars in the ocean, only that I needed to do it. I suppose if I drag this back to the lift now, my plan would work. That's actually not a bad idea. I'm going to do that. Wait, is this a wooden garage door? Oh, oh dear, oh dear. I snapped off one of the risers, I think the other's still there. Oh, well, I mean, optimism. Am I seriously going to drag this all the way to the ocean by myself? Yes. What a good noise! Oh, I love a good noise. Come on, up you come. It would probably be easier to start the mission over and go get the crane and do this with the crane, but I've committed to it now. We finish what we started on this show. And what we started was something extremely stupid. I do 
do love the gentle atmospheric music in this game. Yeah, it's funny, the um, the axle connections to the um, to the wheels is actually why it's so easy to move it. It's actually rolling on those. No other objects are this easy to move. Alright, how in the water do you need to be? That's the real question. All right, that's enough in the water. Good to know. And you know what? This is as good a place as any to start my uh, to start the my my loot search. I want this guy to have no idea I was ever here. That's generally how I like to play play thefts, which means I'll only knock holes in the walls where absolutely necessary because I think there's treasure hidden behind it, such as here. Alright, what do we got? Like, if I wanted to hide my ill-gotten gains, I, this, I feel like inside a sauna is a pretty smart place to do it. Oh, hello. Precision thermometer, that'll do. I feel like if he locked his doors, it would achieve very little when I am perfectly able of slow trammering my way through a window. I wonder if there's anything else hidden there. I feel like there might be. Last time I streamed this, when we did this level, the very first of the uh, Lee Mansion, aha! <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh god, this guy is so nouveau riche. His boxes of expensive Swiss chocolates and his box wine. Terrible. Anyway, um, yeah, so normally when I play this level... Oh shit, I could just destroy the entire foundations of this thing, couldn't I? I knock all of these out, it's going to drop six inches and break in half. I'm not going to do that though. Well, the thing is, girl, like substance, how much uh, valuable goods do you have that a sledgehammer thief might want to use to uh, buy better sledgehammers with? Anyway, um, so yeah, when I when I streamed this level the last time, um, I spent quite a while vandalizing everything I could, and while I agree with that in principle, I don't want to retread the same ground. So I think I will go for some precision vandalism instead. Just show off my general disrespect towards this man and his uh, terrible, terrible, presumably highly exploitative capitalist wealth. Birthday gift for Enid. No, nope, I don't feel guilty. Who cares? All right, that's the lower garage. This is the upper one where he shows off to all of his terrible friends and they all guffaw about how many uh, poor people they've defrauded this week, I guess. I guess he's a, he's a chemical factory owner, so he probably just has like terrible conditions for his workers. I don't, I don't respect him at all. Maybe there's reason later in the game to respect him, but I've never seen any reason to respect him. Okay, so this one probably easiest to drive straight out of here and off the cliff or down the beach. This one is going to go in the drink. That one probably needs to go straight bombing off of here. That one goes there. So yeah. Okay. 
In that case, probably what I should do is prep a car, prep some cars. So I'll move this shit out of the way. Then I'll drive that off the cliff, get in a car, drive back to here, grab this one, put it in the drink, prepped car to here, grab this one, drive it off this cliff here, jump out, hop into this one, drive that off this cliff. And that should be all of them once I've dealt with this one. Which I will go and do after I finish uh, burglarizing this guy's house. Yeah, I think that works. Alright, Alice. Have fun playing D&D. Can I not break a window with this? There we go. That's more like it. Oh yeah. Well, I think that I think that once I burned down his garage door, the uh, he will never know I was here train had already left the station. So I think I'm just gonna have fun with it. I think if I make it clear that this is all down to someone who hates his guts, right? Like I've been hired to do vandalism by a guy who hates his guts. Therefore, this guy gets the the full. The full gut-hating vandalism service. Oh hi! Hey, acrylic spatter and trocantazo. Demolition is going good. As you can see, I'm causing problems for a man by pushing his horrible corporate art sculpture out on the rain where it's gonna get rusty. I've already vandalized some of his things and made fun of his terrible sculptures. Although the game likes to do that for me, but I think I'm funnier. One of the fun things about this level is it's absolutely stuffed with loot. There's just stuff hidden everywhere. Um, case in point, a fancy bottle of rum worth $20. $20 f seems kind of cheap for a fancy bottle of rum to me. Yeah, you do remember this level. It's one of the repeated levels, but you have seen this specific example of it before as well. Unfortunately, due to um, how small my stream manager is, I have no idea what that emoticon is though. Artisanal tomato soup. Now see, $15 for artisanal tomato soup does sound correct. But yeah, I want to make this seem like this was targeted vandalism by a business rival, because I don't see why the other rich asshole should get away with anything either. Which is why we're vandalizing and being careful to hide our thefts, that's the plan. See, the goal here is that I'm going to make him look like a messy pisser. I want him to invite some kind of fancy girlfriend over, and then she goes to the downstairs bathroom, and what's that? Oh, horrible yellow stains all over. And then he'll be very embarrassed, because who wouldn't be? Nobody wants to be a messy pisser. Right. Being tickled can result in someone being a messy pisser also. 
It's fun how, how the world works like that. Ooh, hello, there's water here. Okay, that's potentially interesting. Instead of driving out through that wall, I can probably drive this into the water here and then drive back for this, which would be a bit easier than getting all of that crap out of the way. Although now that I think about it, I think there is a useful bit of crap I can steal. What have we got? We have got traffic cones, explosives, and that's all. Oh, okay. Well, that's disappointing. Such is life. We have to learn to live with our disappointments. Alright, done this. Okay, time for his fancy... Oh, what's that say? <clears throat> Upper Class Table Manners by Elizabeth Woodgroove. Oh, he is nouveau riche. He doesn't know how to behave politely. The make people think he pisses all over his toilet plan just got slightly more likely to work. Although, actually, I bet... I bet proper upper class rich people... It's probably actually gauche to know where you're pissing, right? Because you have servants to deal with that. Everyone knows it was established in 1767 by uh, Lord Streamwiggle that you uh, either employ someone to direct your urine correctly, a lady's maid with a little pipe, or a valet, a gentleman's valet, uh, with a nice warm pair of hands. Oh, the lawn does get in the way, but that's how I did it last time I played this level, I've just remembered. So, that's not going to be such an issue. Are, they, are any of these stealable? No. I think there are some stealable paintings. Is there stuff behind them? No. Can't shake the feeling I'm missing things down here. There's definitely stuff I've skipped. Garlic substance gets five points for the, uh... Aha! What's that? Cooking pan. Yeah, I'll pay $55 for a nice cooking pan. Uh, for the fun Privy Council joke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, right? Like, I do not think that fancy, fancy people piss or shit cleanly. Caring about your hygiene is for the nouveau riche. Bronze statue. Oh, hello, what's that? Aha! <laughs> Hiding in the coffee table again, are we? Sneaky universal remote. You can't escape me, though. Coin collection that he's clearly embarrassed about since he's hidden it behind some potted plants. Why is there purple down here? What's that supposed to be? Well, whatever it is, I don't like it. Oh, maybe, yeah, it could be a foot warmer thingamajig. Okay, did we miss anything here? Nope. Well, I mean, I might have, but... Okay, right, that leaves like six more rooms because this man has more rooms than sense. And he has a diverse collection of uh, perfumes, I'll tell you that for free. Hmm, pool tables. Can you hide stuff in pool tables? I feel so sure that there's something hidden around here. Aha, what's that? <laughs> Who's paying $12 for a popcorn machine maintenance manual to a popcorn machine they don't have?
Ultimate Connection of Movie One-Liners by Garth Pilkett. Fair enough. It makes me feel like he's tricked out his tables like people trick out cars, right? Like there's hydraulics on this thing, it's going to start bumping. Oh, bathrooms. Oh wait, hang on, we have to make it consistent. There we go. A little bit more subtle with this one, you know. You gotta vary it up, otherwise the, the obvious... Uh, it'll be obvious that we have doctored these. See, he doesn't even care when he steps in it. I think this is a, I think this is an elaborate plan that's going to pay off ma mightily. Okay, now I'm pretty sure there's something hidden around here, but I can't for the life of me think where. Air duct? Is that a hint? Oh, it's openable. Can't get up there though. Can I make a ladder? I don't have planks unlocked yet. Okay, there's nothing behind there. That goes down to the parking lot. Yeah, no, that's a fair point. The guy's fence just get, just pays him per job lot, right? Like he shows up with a truck full of random crap. Some of it's going to be super valuable. Most of it's going to be terrible. Just pay him whatever he asks for for all of it. Whenever I see this guy's shitty fucking room, I'm tempted to burn it down. Rare, genuine, vintage band t-shirt. Expensive vintage sneakers. Okay, that just leads to the bathroom. I uh, don't know what I expected. An array of fancy scented soaps, perhaps? Where's that air vent system? I guess I could get into that from above if I wanted to. That might be worth trying. I'll see if I can do that. What's this? Oh, that's part of the <laughs> that's part of the wall. Is that a fridge? No. There's probably more around here somewhere, but I don't want to go crazy. Lord knows I struggle with that enough every day. Did I miss his office? He's got an office somewhere. I feel like I haven't found it. Penthouse gardening. Is that a gardening issue of Penthouse magazine? <laughs> it uh, gives you gives you advice on dealing with bush. Oh, hello. Another wallet? That one's got money in it. Another mirror that doesn't have anything in it. Sleeping pills. Everyone needs sleeping pills. Exclusive makeup. In the guest bedroom. I guess he provides that for guests. Now, if I want to get into his air ducts, it seems like this would be the way to do it. Although those are different ones. Oh, look, there's a whole other building for me to loot over there as well. <laughs> this man has more money than sense and doesn't know what to do with either of them. 
Where's his office? That's got to be his office, right? Aha! I did miss his office. You'd think I'd be able to steal his computer. Really. Couple more piss drips. I think I'm about done with this building. Time to hop out and see what other trouble we can make. Is this another sliding door? It is. Okay. Yeah, that's lined up to go in the drink already. Mustn't forget that we do actually have a job to do here. This one's got some stuff in the boot that I can get rid of. That's also lined up to go already. One of the things I definitely talked at length about when I streamed this before is how much care and attention has gone into the design of these places. How much they feel like real places. Which is why I consider this pretty much to be a immersive sim. It really cares about how these environments feel, whether or not they live or live and breathe and feel lived in. And that's the key most important thing, in my opinion, about an immersive sim. Supposedly later on there's like things to fight or dodge or something, but for at least the first half of this game you're exploring these spaces in total silence and uh, without any kind of risk of being found out. You can just wander around to your heart's content. It reminds me of... Um, playing immersive sims as a teenager with uh, mods or cheats so that I could just look around and look at the places and explore and see what the deal was and find out how they interacted with one another. Probably going to need to remove this door for speed's sake. Okay, that's a vertical door. Is that a wood again? This is a wooden door. Yeah, it's okay. I can just burn it down. That's nice and quick. Actually, is this building wood? Should I be careful? But there is a sort of almost... There's a sort of exciting, genuine sense that you're, like, rummaging around in some guy's actual house. I think this is a very controlled burn. I think we'll be fine. Pleasant wintry, pleasant wintry feel as we sit beside the uh, crackling door fire. Oh fuck! Crackling door fire. Whoops. Let's get these out of the way. Ooh, a gazebo. Everyone loves a gazebo. They've got stuff in. Such as chessboard. And no loot. I thought these were like Mario looking guys in caps for a second from way over there. I thought, oh god, I'll be spotted. Is this alarmed? Hold up, is this actually alarmed? Quick save. What happens if I cut this free? Alright, what happens if I blast this free? Oh no, that's just the wiring for the sign. Okay, fair enough. Too heavy for me to lift, it looks like. Alright, well, I don't want to do that. I probably had way more, like, 
insight and clever, interesting stuff to say when I when I streamed this previously. But you know what? I've got brain damage now. To be honest, I may have had brain damage then, but I'm just uh, I'm sleepy today. Don't judge me. All right, there's gonna be some stuff in here to steal, such as this food processor. Silverware. Okay, that's actually a classic thing to steal. Like, of all the things that there are to steal from a rich man's house, I feel like the silverware is, like, just the OG, the absolute classic. <laughs> it's in the microwave. I wish I could turn the microwave on, that'd be a fun way to start a fire. Ooh. Oysters! Those will definitely keep long enough for me to deliver to my petty thief fence. Definitely, like, oysters keep well. You don't even need to keep them in the fridge, really. People do it out of habit. It's a bit like keeping bread in the fridge, like, it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Yeah, like, it's well known that oysters have, a, have like, one of the more usable shelf lives. You can keep them around for, like, definitely a few weeks just on your counter. They're like the apples of the sea, you know? Time to bail. What do you know? This one took me with it. Alright, that's two down. Time to set up the plan for actually dealing with the rest of these once I finish looting this man to within an inch of his life. I suppose if you think about it, I'm mostly stealing things he won't notice are gone. Second prize in the Woo Open. <laughs> okay. Oh, hell yeah, audible laugh. This stream's a winner, boys. Let's wrap it up. Okay, right, okay, so here's the plan. Uh, drive that one into the drink. Drive another car to here. Drive that one into the drink. Drive another car to here. Drive that one into the drink. Uh, drive this one into the drink also. And then have a backup car to escape out here. Maybe it would be smarter to just bomb off the edge here and then have a backup car here actually so I can get to there a bit faster. I think that's what I'm going to do. I haven't stolen any of his garage doors. I have burned down several of his garage doors but I haven't stolen any of them. They're still, exa <laughs> still exactly where they were. They're just in a, uh, a different form of um, physical matter. I might need to get rid of this gate. Definitely don't have time to slow down for it. Okay, so we bomb straight off the end of here and hop out, let it go off the edge on inertia, then jump into this mini to get to the exit. That should work. It's not theft if it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's number one. I've got to go that way. That's going to go from there. That one's going to get me there, which means the next one I need to line something up here to get to here, I think. 
so I might as well grab one of these cars because they're right here. Like we joke, but destruction of property is definitely a different crime to theft. Okay. Let's do an elegant three point turn. Gently fuck up a shrubbery. Narrowly miss this innocent table. Okay. It's probably not worth. It might not be worth turning this car. Let me see how well this handles. Quick save. That's. That's going to be slightly faster. Yeah, that's going to be slightly faster. Which is all we really hope for. Okay, that's that lined up then. That one's going straight in the pool. Actually, no, I probably shouldn't put his lawn furniture in the pool because then there might not be enough room for the car. Smart. I'm thinking ahead. Okay, this one needs to go out here, so let's get rid of this real quick. I'm sure this is fine. I'll extinguish any of the facade that catches on fire. game came out I followed the guy who made it on Twitter I think and uh, he was so delighted when he when he implemented the volumetric fog for the, the fire extinguisher I really love to look at it it's so thick and fluffy I imagine it would be just do absolutely terrible things to your lungs though Metho methylosemia in the bottle whatever <laughs> <laughs> laughing at my own terrible jokes on the wall okay right so that one out into the drink and then that one can just go through here yeah that's probably faster than walking okay let's move this one So I should be able to drive that over here without trouble. That looks fine. Which means I can then grab this one here and just bomb straight through there. Because you know what? Fuck his windows. Okay, so. That one into the drink. That one to here. That one into the other drink. That one to here. That one into the drink. That one to here and then also into the drink and then that one to the exit and then we should be golden much like the floor around his toilet as best as can is pretty good you get another five points for that one uh what am i doing right time to start this whole road show Remember to quick save before you're all last all your last night. Oh, let, 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 let. Remember to quick save before all your last knees. There we go. Alright, we're still good on time. Uh oh. Okay, 
That one's a sports car. Got to go. Got to go easy on that one. Got to feather that accelerator rather than slamming my foot to the floor and my car into my wall. Or Lee's car into Lee's wall, I suppose. Or Woo's? I forget whose house this is. Okay, well that didn't work. It's still good, it's still good, we can still make it. Got a whole half a minute, it's fine. And that's how you do it. <sighs> I definitely had better times than this uh, on my last stream, but you know what? I think that went pretty well. I wonder if you can go steal the guy's TV aerial if you're smart about it. That went fantastically. Ooh, Trespasser and Breaker. I leveled up twice from that one. Very good. See, this is why I always try and do every single uh, bonus objective in a single mission, so that I get uh, double. Double points. Double XP. Alright, I'm gonna like, let you guys watch this little fire happen for a moment while I go to the bathroom real quick. And I'm back. Hope you enjoy this complimentary self arson. Oh wait, actually I need to refill my water cup. I will be right back.
All right, those events were unrelated. Time to see how this guy's flat has changed. Was this car always here? Was he always building a new Cadillac? Or rebuilt, rebuilding one, I guess. Perhaps it's a sign that he's gone up in the world. Planks are great. Planks are so useful. You can do all kinds of silly bullshit when you own a plank. Such as climb. Anyway, uh, yeah. I don't think there's a ton else to see at this point. He's installed himself a little home range. That's nice. Can't open his fridge anymore. <laughs> oh dear. I always run into the problem that so many people face where you have decided to build your bed outside of the bedroom which has now got too small of a door to fit it in. I wonder if he'll make this an office with his little wall mirror. If only we could all be so uh, prolific. Prolific? Profligate. That's the word I was looking for. With our home alterations. Anyway, I'm going to dive into the next one, because otherwise we'll be here all night. I've been up all night digging through login devices, and I've managed to find a connection to West Point Marina. I haven't been able to figure out more on BT, but Lee has a warehouse in West Point. I guess whatever fishy business he's up to, the marina's not the final destination. I was thinking the boat GPS devices can give me an, an idea where he's moving product, especially if you compare, re compare recent destinations to shipping log. Can you get them? And she also wants to do something else, but we'll do this one first. This is steel GPS devices from West Point Marina. I love a good seafront. I think uh, American seafronts are kind of lacking a lot of the time, but... Although, actually, this isn't set in America. This is set in, like, Sweden. Or Norway or something. Right, what are we doing here? We need to steal log files in the office, the boat trailer, and the fishing boat. And also a boat and a boathouse. Okay, so that one can just be driven onto the exit point, which will set off the alarm. That one... I'm actually not sure what to... What am I actually supposed to steal? I, there's nowhere for me to put the whole boat to steal it. Perhaps I'm supposed to break something free. Let's go check out this one first. I've also heard that there's new treasures to find each time you go back to a mission. As in, each different instance of the same map. Each different mission on the same map will have some different treasures. But I don't know if they overlap. Like, if you miss the pirate treasure in the first version of this mission... Oh, hey, is there... There's an attic up here. I wonder if there's anything hidden. Now that I have the plank, I can check. Ow, fuck. Actually, I'm going to go back to... Oh, do they respawn? Is that how it works? Um, I don't think they respawn. Anyway, uh, I just realized I forgot to upgrade my tools, so I'm going to do that real quick. Planks are super useful, and I have very few uses for pipe bombs, so let's get the planks first. This man is able to upgrade his width and length. Uh, something I imagine most dudes wish was also available to them. Yeah, don't tell me too much about the end game loadout because I, uh, as I've said before, I haven't made it past halfway through. So I haven't seen the cyberpunky stuff show up and I don't know what any of it is. Oh, shared across missions. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, that means that I don't have to worry too much about doing extra additional searches every time. Let me just get this gate off. I always end up needing to remove these gates, so it's... Honestly, it would behoove me just to remove them right at the start. Uh, 
Uh, now, why did I think there would be a car here? Aha, a jeep. What the hell noise is that happening behind me? My heating decided to make strange noises, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not going to explode just because this house is extremely old and garbage. Upgrading the planks and shotguns are definitely worth upgrading that much and you regret having done it like me? If it's worth doing, why did you regret doing it the way I did it? I really like the planks and the shotgun. I, I get a lot of use out of them, so I, I definitely think they're worth... They are hashtag worth. Ah, okay. Right, that makes more sense. Eventually, through dialogue, understanding was achieved. Sometimes I'm tempted to just burn these places to the ground. Uh, feel free to clip that and use it whenever you need to in your day-to-day -day life. Uh, just because I, I can't shake the feeling that I'm always missing loads of uh, treasure. Ah, wow. Someone squeezed a whole office into this, into this, into this wall. What an amazing treasure to find, a secret office. Ah, I see how it is. Oh, they've gendered their toilets? Last time I came in here, there were not different gender markers on the doors. Are you kidding me? That's such baby town behavior. if they have anything in their attic. I think I looked previously. It's a lot easier to look in the attics once you have the planks because you can do this. All right, what do we got? We've got Jack and or shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. I'm a uh, I'm definitely going to get a good score in girl-like substance, something that is normal to want and possible to achieve. Five stars, very funny, would watch stream again. Wait, hang on, shit, there was something I was supposed to steal. I forgot why I came here. Alright, what do we got upstairs? I don't actually know if that makes a difference. It didn't occur to me that anyone might ever actually have given a star rating to any of my streams. Uh, I definitely hope people have done that sometimes because I feel like I deserve way more viewers because I'm very funny. But that is not always the case in life. If I knock a hole in the floor, will this thing fall through it? Oh, hell yeah, okay, cool. So that's wired, that's wired, that's wired but movable, that's wired but movable. Okay, I think this is going to be a matter of getting all of these things as close as possible to here. This one and this one I can move, that one I don't know about, that I don't know if I can move. So it might be a matter of grabbing this one, driving around here, grabbing this one, and driving here and then grabbing the others. I think that's probably going to be something. That is relevant. That was the wrong side of the building. This isn't vandalism, this is necessary. This is important structural uh, remodeling for ease of access so that I can run through here and grab this dangling, 
this dangling treasure. This bulbous jutting thing. Uh, right. Let's have a look at this one around the corner here, see what its deal is. Actually, you know, I don't think I have any new viewers today, but if you're watching uh, and it's never occurred to you to do so, you could give me a follow if you enjoy my things that I make. Is that? Oops. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel where I usually make Let's Plays, but I'm on a hiatus at the moment due to illness. Um, is that? Can I? Okay, that's that is a that is affixed to the boat. Okay, so actually, what would make sense is I grab that, I drive to here, I drive, then I drive this boat over here. I grab it and drive this boat over here, and then I grab the other things. I think that makes more sense, probably. Oh, I mean, sledgehammer thieves are just like really finicky to care for. Like, just a very, very expensive pet. If you're not, uh, if you're not a, a thief specialist who wants to branch out a bit, then I really don't recommend them. Um, like you shouldn't care for a tigu lizard if you don't know if you've never had a pet lizard before. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, yeah, no, I, I totally got distracted. Uh, if you like my streams or my YouTube, you should follow me there and also here so that you can enjoy the things I make. And I have a Discord where uh, I post about upcoming streams and generally give news about my stuff that's happening. That's it. That's it. That's the plug. It's all over. Hop. All right. You know, we were supposed to destroy one, two, three, four, five. Was the lawn on the end the one we destroyed? I guess it was. I thought maybe they'd replaced it. Yeah, sometimes you do need a cold one. That's life. That's life in West Point, baby. Alright, why did I come over here? Because that thing's attached to that thing. That thing's attached to that thing. That's going to be the next one to look at. Everyone loves a clumsy five-pointer. It's okay, the municipal budget has a has a Tessa's fuck-ups section. Now see, that's attached to the boat, so that means if I blast this free, I can move this around pretty safely and easily. Let's do that before we get distracted. We go. Don't really want to carry this back by hand. Can I can I attach it with a plank? Alright, that looks good. <laughs> Not a strange thing to see at all. I'm pretty sure that boat can't be used on the water, actually. I think it's just a, a prop, you know? I think it's just a, a physics object. It's got like holes in and stuff.
Why is there a lightning rods van here? What does that mean? Oh, was there something... What is that? Oh no, that's part of the... Yeah, that's part of the, like, vent apparatus, but what's that? Whatever it was, it was not valuable enough to be worth shooting with a shotgun. sure that one of these things had treasure in it. But I don't... I, I didn't find it on this run this time around. So I should probably find it while I'm here now. See, that's, that's an underwater drone camera thingy, I think. Those are super valuable. I don't really see why I'm not allowed to steal it. It's kind of endearing that it's in a very sort of animal transport cage looking thing. Because they do have kind of an animal vibe. Whenever I, whenever I see a deep sea underwater exploration robot, I'm like, that is a creature. That is organism. Swim and be free, my friends. dangerous a neighborhood is Lockell, because no one ever seems to um, object to any of the uh, early morning shotgun uh, blasts. Is there not anything in there? Every time I think there's something in there, and there's never anything in there. I don't know why I'm so sure. Is there something in there? No. Some one of these assholes has some treasure. I I swear to God. I think beastie is best when spelled with that uh, medieval F shape, which is still just an S. But it's just nice to see a B. F nice to see a B F T. How do I have a whole shipyard full of uh, stuff and nothing to steal? <laughs> this is a thief's worst nightmare. This is hell for him. This is like that one uh, Twilight Zone where the guy, the guy starts gambling and he's like, Oh, I must be in heaven. I keep winning. And then he realizes, Oh, I must be in hell. I keep winning. Uh, nobody around. Tons of containers, and yet nothing. Now, how big can I let this fire get before people start uh, noticing there's a problem? It's an emergency signal fire that I've lit in order to let these guys know that there's a thief about. Careful, does it? Careful, careful. There we go, not a scratch on her. Nothing, 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 nothing. Oh right, that's how big the fire can get.
the fun thing about playing this kind of game when you have ADHD is that um, you kind of just do stuff and then forget you did it. I was intending to keep an eye on the fire and come back, and uh, no. Turns out that was naive. Turns out sometimes when you're looking for a uh, well-experienced cup of tea, what you actually need is a more naive a tea, a, a naiver tea. There was something there, but I didn't land it. Alright, let's move this. I think this is the first time I've had to move something with a trailer. It is definitely a more tense and awkward experience than simply driving a truck. If I cut this here, can I move this myself? It's afraid. <laughs> this gate is terrified. It knows what I've done to the other ones. I think we don't... that's driving me up the wall. That's more like it. Something I think we don't talk about enough is the unbelievable upper arm strength of this man. The Lockhill Demolition Services guy. Upper body strength of a bear. The man's the size of a house. That's not quite what doing what I want it to. That's stuck where it is, which probably means that, that one is as well. I can reach that from the ground, it's fine, I don't need to fuck about. Not crashing cars is for people who care about not causing some kind of a ruckus. Oh, I can't use this. That's a shame. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Now, how do I get aboard that boat? Can I just go close to it and press E? Will that work? Sadly, I was overly optimistic, and now I have marina gunk on my shoes. Hey, what's that? Oh, that's the propulsion apparatus. Naturally, naturally. I'll take it. Mm. 
I love a big old boat that feels like it goes chugga chugga. Oh, I need that bridge intact. If I go to the other side, then I can raise and then lower it, and that'll be good for me, generally. Oh, but I can't get back aboard. <sighs> what a tragedy. These things keep happening. I guess if I bring another boat over here, <laughs> I might be able to climb up. I like this one because it behaves, behaves more like a boat and less like a uh, car on water. That's true, I could put a hole in the hull, but I feel bad doing that to a boat. It is not generally good for boats to have holes in their hulls. Well, this one clearly already has one or two of its own. Oh, hell yeah, premium lube. That's the kind that's better than normal lube. Keeps you slippery for days. Well, that depends on what you need the loop for, doesn't it? Alright, well that's an awkward one to grab, but we can definitely grab it. Okay, so I need a car and I need to grab that one, drive to here, grab that one. Sail to here, grab one, two, three, done. That should be very quick to do. Just gotta find me a car. funny you can uh... why is there a hole in the back of this car I'm pretty sure I didn't do that oh the Jeep didn't need this after all why is there a hole This looks lined up. Let's do it. Gotta remember that quick save and go. Uh oh. That was close. <laughs> I nearly crushed the boat. Another job, well done. I 
thought this was a sword for a second. I thought he'd started to get into, like, fantasy movie memorabilia now that he's flush with cash. I am an agent of chaos. Someone told me last stream that there was something hidden under the, uh... Ow. Under this thing, but it does not seem that that was the case. Oh hey, his bed's still stuck out here. I'll admit I was hoping these would like catapult and not just crunch each other out, uh, inside out. Shortcuts are where it's at, in my opinion, generally. It doesn't look like there's an external way in. Did he have a truck before? This guy's leveling up. He's on that grind set. He's doing extremely well for himself. Is he actually running a farm as well? Because there's a carrot patch over there. Yum. have definitely made enough cryptic statements about there being something valuable hidden somewhere in the base that I suspect there is one. How I find it, I do not know. I've got so many of these fucking things. Don't mind me, I'm just arson around. Okay. Since the computers didn't include details on BT, maybe there are documents in his safes that could bring clarity. You've already done a lot for me, but if you have the time and energy, I'd appreciate it. Oh, I like this one. This is honestly one of my favourite of the, of the many missions I've uh, replayed in the first half of this game. I'm not going to look for treasure or play silly buggers. I'm just going to get in, get out. Like a thief in the night. The perfect crime. Alright, um, so I need to steal... Several safes. I think there are three safes and some other stuff. So we'll have to see what happens. They might all be wired up also. He's taking his security seriously now, I notice. Which is understandable once such a... Uh, Extremely skillful. Master Thief as I. Undetectable, almost invisible in the night. Has stolen all your shit multiple times. Oh hey. A tile cutter, nice. Okay, so there's one up there. And 
and this door is locked. I love James Bonding my way through stuff. I now realise that uh, I probably should have just come back out the window. Oh well. Alright, that's one. That's, yeah. The obvious path to take here is the same path that I always take on this level, because it's... I don't know if it's optimal. There's probably people who do way better than me, but what I do is grab this one, cross the river, grab this one, grab this one, cross here, shove these safes into the back of this dump truck, and get the fuck out. So, if I grab that one, where's the easiest bridge? Usually, it is... Right here. And if I do that right, I can even use it to get up to the second story. Whoopsie daisy. Which I now realise may not be necessary. Is that on the ground floor? There it is. It is on the ground floor. Okay. Everyone loves a good makeshift br uh, bridge. Okay, I can, <laughs> I can run through this sequence of holes pretty nippily, that'll be, that'll be fine. And we get over here. Go through this one as well. Grab that one, and we're up the stairs, and then out this window. And then, I've just- previously I've had these plans for how to get into this building and grab stuff, but I've just now realised I can just literally like- Grab it from outside like this. I wonder if there's any more valuables in here. It's been a while. Doesn't look like it. I think there's something lying around that I've missed. A few things, maybe. Okay, so I reach through the hole I've made in the wall, grab that one, continue running, and I jump onto this rooftop. Or, no, I jump into the space in here, because that's what I need. Oh, fuck. No more, no more Mr. Nice Demolitions Expert. It is smash and grab all the way. what the quick save is for. It's really easy to accidentally knock an alarm system loose.
All right, I should be able to tip that out of the window pretty easily. Maybe I should scoot it back a bit, I'm not sure. Anyway, I need to get rid of all of this stuff out of the way first, which is why I wish they gave you the broom early on. In fact, they give you the broom late enough that I've never had the broom. As I've said, I've only played half this game. Yeah, I can move that back a little bit if necessary. I love the physics in this game. Things getting almost knocked off their hinges, half the door dangling from the one remaining hinge, it's delightful. I just need to line these up. One day one of these is going to have some valuables in it. <laughs> no spoilers don't don't tell me there's like nukes and things i love wanton destruction i love small bits of very precise wanton destruction i'm less interested in just going ham and destroying everything but i do really enjoy a little bit of targeted violence That looks like the spot. I don't. This man. Okay, so we did. We did actually have reason to believe that we could convince people that this man fails to piss in a toilet correctly, because we got evidence based on the terrible stains in his uh, office bathroom. Is this his office? It probably is, right? This is a like a secretarial room. That, that one's a meeting room. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now he will uh, know that we know about his greatest shame. Which is really what we want assholes to know in life. Just wiggle it over a little bit. Walk it back. Steady, steady. Get this stuff out of the way so it doesn't foul my wheels. Alright, I can back this up a little bit now. 
All right, we should be able to land both of those very nicely. Which means it's time to give it a go. Let's see if we can manage this. Quick little safety save and go. Wait, shit. Terrible moment to realize you forgot something. Oh yeah, I forgot something else. Alright, I need to tidy that up a little bit before we do that. I need to build myself a little bit of a sky bridge. get rid of these crates as well. Uh, you know what, that's fine. Grab that. Okay, hang on. Let's... I usually, for these uh, more complex runs, I usually... Put reminders. Because that's what these are for. Uh, I'm not going to get that wrong. In, grab that thing. Around, up, and then back that way. Up here, grab that. If I just go straight onto the roof here, yeah, that might be the easiest way. I'm going to smack a hole in this roof. That's what I'll do. I'll put a plank down from here, and then I'll smack holes in roof. It gets me up here. I don't need a plank here, but better safe than sorry. big roof hole and then we can smack a hole in this wall also so that we can get through nice and easy get that out of the way get rid of the debris all right that should be that should be all right and i can drop that one in and then hop over to the other side this is actually a slightly different route than i usually do Let's try that then. And then we'll see. Then we'll see who's the best at uh, operating a mid-sized uh, chemicals corporation. get in the way. My own careless ways have betrayed me. Oh, balls. Get in the fucking truck! Oh, there we go. I think I'm not going to make it this time. You stuck on. Alright, that's not gonna work. 
It's definitely possible to shove these out of there into that because I've done it oh, well, not a hundred times. I've done it like six times because I've tried to play through this game about six times. Um, just need to smoothen this up a bit, I think. Like, ideally, I want this to tumble a bit. That needs to be a bit closer and not get stuck on a thing. Can I tumble that this way? Maybe? I need to get. I need very delicately to remove a very small piece of brick, which I can't do with my blowtorch and only my shotgun. Alright, well that works at least. Okay, let's set that up again real quick. Real quick, real nice, real smooth and easy. to drop. Okay, I think I can tumble that in alright. Ideally it'd be a bit closer, um, but I'm not going to futz about with that just now. If I get real close, can I just... That's maybe a bit more than was ideal. That that might tumble. Let's give that a go. A shotgun stonemason was actually a Quaker bishop uh, in, I believe, 1652. The man was beloved for his um, abolition-focused fuck. Man was beloved for his abolition focused views. Alright, I'm, I'm going to assume that was going to work out, okay. I progressed beyond the need for doors. If you think about it, a shotgun is a lot. is a lot like a uh, set of thieves' tools. There are very few locks that it can't open. And if you can't open it with one, then you probably weren't going to get into there anyway, were you? Let's be honest. Shotgun Bricky, on the other hand, was a boxer in 1942. Ooh, forgot. Uh, well, that didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. Be tight. What was that? A, a second and a half to spare? 
but that was having forgotten a thing and had to go back for it and falling out of a window I didn't mean to fall out of. So that went magnificently. Magnificently. Oh yeah, I found $200 on the way out as well, which was a nice little bonus. <laughs> it turns out when you're too uh, in too much of a hurry to open doors, you find uh, all kinds of stuff that's fallen down the back of a coffee machine. Oh hell yeah, crook. Oh, the pistol! <gasps> I imagine this is like a very narrowly targeted shotgun. Hell yeah! Oh, that's exactly what I needed last, last, uh, last mission. Oh, yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is going to be real useful for precision. Precision stuff. All right, okay. Well, that was very productive. I don't think I should be trusted with firearms. <laughs> Um, I've realized, realized this in playing this game. Uh, I think I think if I were offered firearms, I would end up like that one episode of The Simpsons where he buys he buys a gun and he starts using it to like shoot light switches and, and open doors instead of using normal tools like your hands and doorknobs. But if I throw this, I can shoot it out of the air. Oh hell yeah! Oh, did you see that? Mission status sick. Oh my god, that was great. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Oh, I missed it that time. Let's see what else I can do that with. This is a nice big target. Yeah, boy! Oh, this is fantastic. I'm starting to see why Americans go to gun ranges. That's too heavy. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, right, so that's going to be it from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. If you'd like to watch live, I have a regular streaming schedule on Twitch, with a Discord server for announcements and updates. Thank you so much to my patrons and donators, and if you'd also like to contribute to my existence, you can do so at Patreon or Ko-fi. All of the links are in the description and on my about pages here and on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching.